Hello friends, I am Dr. Deep Goyal. I am Director of Gastrointestinal Onco and Minimal Access Surgery at BL Kapoor Hospitals. Today we are going to talk about colorectal cancer. As it is very evident by the name, colorectal means colon and rectum. Or in layman's term, it is called large intestine. The cancer of colon and rectum is becoming very common in this part of the world. It was always very common in the western world, but due to increased urbanization, globalization and change in the lifestyle in our country or developing countries, it is becoming very common. Also increased expectancy of life is another cause. Eating of red meat, smoking and certain diseases predispose patients to have colon and rectal cancers. Diseases like ulcerative colitis, other inflammatory bowel disease, hereditary polyposis coli, these are some of the conditions which can predispose people to have colorectal cancer. Also patients in whose family parents have had one of the colorectal cancer have more risk of having these cancers. Let us look at how these cancer presents. The commonest symptom is bleeding in the stool, anemia, weakness, pain abdomen or change in your stool habits. That means if recently you are either too much constipated or having diarrhea or alternate diarrhea and constipation should raise a suspicion of colorectal cancer. Colon has three parts, right side middle portion and the left side. Right side is called ascending colon, middle portion is called transverse colon and the left portion is called descending colon. And beyond that it is sigmoid colon and rectum. Cancer can happen in any part of above described portions. Now let's look at how we can easily diagnose these cases. The best modality to diagnose colorectal cancer is colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is nothing but an endoscopy which is done through anus opening. It looks inside of the rectum and the colon. You can directly visualize the tumor or the cancer and also take the biopsy. Other investigation can be CT scan. CT scan normally would tell us the extent of the tumor. Once you have taken the biopsy, and you have proven that this is colorectal cancer, the next obvious investigation is CT scan as we discussed. After knowing the stage of the disease, whether it is stage 1, 2, 3 or 4, we can tailor made the treatment plan for a particular patient. Normally surgery for colorectal cancer is what is required at some stage. If it is stage 1 and stage 2 cancer, then the chances of cure are between 75 to 90 percent and surgery remains the first choice of treatment. In surgery we remove the affected portion of colon and rejoin them again. If you look at this model here, this is the right colon or ascending colon, this is the transverse colon, this is the descending colon, this is the sigmoid colon and this is the rectum. So tumor can happen anywhere around the colon as I was discussing. Suppose the tumor is in this part of the colon, we are going to remove this much portion of the colon and join a small intestine with this portion. It is called right hemicolectomy, where we remove the tumor bearing part of the colon as well as all the lymph nodes which are present around the blood vessels. If the portion, if the tumor is in this portion, then we remove this portion of the colon. If the tumor is in this portion, then we remove this much portion of the colon. If the tumor is in the rectum, then we remove this much portion of the rectum. Normally, if the tumor is in the rectum, then you may require to give radiation or chemotherapy before the operation. Most of the times, if there is a stage 3, stage 4 rectal cancer, you will give radiotherapy and chemotherapy first and then do the surgery. In surgery for rectal cancer, 
sometimes we need to make a stoma stoma means that part of the small intestine will brought out through the abdominal wall or the skin and you are going to pass a stool into a plastic bag most of the times this stoma is temporary and we can close this stoma within 6 to 8 weeks sometimes if the tumor is too low into the rectum if the tumor is too close to the anus anal canal that means we cannot save the sphincter mechanism of the rectum that is the time when you require to make a permanent stoma that means patient will pass the stool lifelong from the bag with recent advances the incidence of permanent stoma has gone down drastically now there is a lot of technology and techniques available by which we can save the permanent stoma colorectal cancer is one of the uh, better cancers to have because the chances of cure in early stages are very high and the treatment protocols have become very refined and newer technologies have made surgery very very patient friendly today we do all colorectal cancers in our department by minimal invasive technique where we make small punctures into the abdominal wall and do microsurgery through the laparoscope the advantage is that there is almost negligible bleeding patient is almost pain free patient can go back home in four to five days and can go back to work in two to three weeks time the feeling of well-being is an important factor for the patients and in laparoscopic surgery or minimal invasive surgery the feeling of well-being comes very very fast as compared to conventional surgery there is also robotic surgery which is coming in a big way in colorectal cancers but the new, we have to wait for the newer generation of the robots which are more surgeon and patient friendly so in the end i would like to say that colorectal cancer is treatable is curable in early stages so don't hesitate and go to your specialist in case you are diagnosed with such disease also the patients who are at a higher risk to develop these cancer they should routinely get themselves screened by colonoscopy speak to your gastroenterologist or your surgeon or your doctor they will advise you how and when and who should undergo a screening test thank you very much friends to know more about such diseases and diseases related to gastroenterology gi cancers obesity minimal invasive surgery please subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much blk super speciality hospital a passion for healing